Hi, 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 Hi. I'm here with my boy, Josh. We're going to be doing a kind of just day-ish in the life. Josh is one of like a semi-OG. Yeah. Throughout my community, also just met up with him here and there. We've done some things together. Owns a sick brand, which is what we're both wearing. Yep. And we're going to talk about it in this video, how it started. But yeah, we're going to do a lift. And we'll just kind of explain the story. Now they've been pushed to emergency. Kicking the door to burglary. Light his ass up, burn a third degree. 25 rest for a surgery. I know you just take a tough when I really pull up. You gon' call the up burglary. Light his ass up, burn a third degree. 25 rest for a surgery. I know you just take a tough when I really pull up. You gon' call the up burglary. Light his ass up, burn a third degree. 25 rest for a surgery. I really need to high school. Um, from there, I was told that we're going to have two weeks extra on our That's spring break. It was going to be great. Everything, you know, we have two weeks, be more vacation time. It's going to be so great. Did not go back to school. So COVID, COVID time, had more time to myself. You know, I was like, oh, I have 45 minute classes. I'm like two hour classes at home online. I was like, shit, I can do so much right now. Started with shoes, I get niches for shoes, anything I could flip really. Uh, making money, like microwaves, really anything I could get my hands on, I was flipping. Then from there, um, you know, the shoe market kind of then took a dive because, in my opinion, because of, you know, the economy as well as, you know, the stimulus checks. It was booming because of the stimulus checks. Everyone's getting the stimulus checks, they're getting the 1200 bucks, everyone's like, give me every shoe I can get. And then from there, it, you know, I just, I came out of it. Now they're all right, I need to see a better way to make money. This is mid-COVID? Yeah, mid-COVID. And then I graduated, so then I was, 11th grade was all online. In 12th grade, I was always back in the full person because of Florida. And then from there, I was always doing something in class. Like, I was always trying to flip something. Or I was still trying to flip. I was trying to trade options. Anything to make money. Trying everything. Literally trying everything. When did, when did e-com come to the mix? E-com came to the mix after I graduated. High school. After I graduated high school. So I graduated last June, which is kind of crazy. guys. I just saw my boys graduate. What is that? Is that a year? It's a year. It's kind of crazy. No matter high school, yeah, I didn't go to college because college is bullshit. He gets that spot, college is bullshit. And then from there, I was like, you know, I, I liked e com I kept seeing everything online, e com e com From there, I just was like, let me give this a shot. And also, it was just like cool because, you know, he's in Florida. I don't know, it was something like a connection, like always in Florida, kind of like me, didn't like, you know, high, like high school. Wait, school wait, all the way back. I always find it funny, and this is also the first time, like publicly, I've really ever like shown and talked with someone live. But this is like a testimony. So we're normally just vibing today. We just lifted. And when was it that you first saw anything with me? June. Last June? year. Damn. So right when you were finishing school. So like right when I was not finishing school, I was really on vacation. I was on vacation, I think, and then like that's when I first saw you. And then obviously fucking like, retargeted, retargeted, and here retargeted. And here we are. Here we are. Now we're in lunch in Miami. You got a brand. What was it? How long did it take you before you started? You got into e-com? So I got into e-com. I went to drop shipping. And I was like, I was doing it. I got the basic premise. Make a, make a store. Figure out how to make something more appealing to people that they're going to buy. Solve a problem. And essentially I was doing that. But like the ads I couldn't do. I, ads, I was like, I was super bad at them. And you know, I was, I was getting like, a check out here, check out there every day, and I was like, that's what something better to this. Because I feel like there's no longevity to it. You have to brand something for there to be longevity. Like, that's why the blend jet is so crazy. Because that was a dropshipping product, and everyone tried. And now that's like a million, multi million dollar brand. And that's the thing, also, I always say literally, your first like three months, it was like he was testing basic dropshipping products and doing what most beginners do, which I did too. It's like part of the journey almost, you fuck up. And then you go through and find your own like path. For some people that's starting and scaling like a uh, one product dropship store, for other people, fucking fitness brand and whatever the case may be. But everyone does go on their own path. Yeah. Do you think that like there's been a big mindset change for you in the last year, specifically from like being around a lot of people who are like thinking like this? Yeah. So well, well first of all like this mindset change was like just like longevity. Like, what can I make long like like I can do, like long term. Cause I did, I tested uh, the product that came with the site, which was the ice uh, massager. Everyone knows, I give like people who join the program like a pre-built site, and I always say it's not like a 10 out of 10 site. You have to actually work on it. I throw them in the fire. I'm like, bro, fucking start, and then you just figure it out. And that skill of figuring shit out is what I see like winners have. That's what I even said. Like, dude, I never even commented when you wanted to start this brand. I was fully on his own. I didn't say shit. 
Like, you, you didn't even give me advice or anything. Yeah. You were like, I don't know. Clothing brand ain't my shit, but that's the thing. Is like, you realize people, everyone will go down their own path. I'm going down my own path with everything. And every entrepreneur, like, he's on his own journey, especially at the end, but everyone starts at the same point. Yeah. So, Sorry. yeah, but so I was like, test, I think I tested the ice massager, then I tested like a type of pot planner, and then I tested the hood, the blanket hoodies that was during December. And I was like, all right, I'm not doing this anymore. Because then I started the clothing brand then in July with my business partner. Started in July and then came October, came in October. Early October is our first ever order came in. We invested our first you know, money. Our first order came in. We went direct to our consumer because it's, it was completely different. You know, job shipping, you literally have to advertise online. You have to pay for the money. For us, we made our little trailer like that we're coming out and then on top of that I gave my friend that edited the video which was a, whatever, it was a good video for what he did put it out he then went to a gym right after so I don't know where you know everyone's located but where Crunch Fitness we went to Crunch the next day signed a contract and now we go there twice a month and we sell and now we have people that are go walk in and out of the gym with our clothing on so it's crazy you know you go directly to your consumer and we're able to sell and then we've been able to scale that every month doubling our orders doubling our money you know every single month um, and now we're gonna finally, we're getting our quality up, and then from quality, then we're gonna move into ads. Because in advertising, you either make your product look great, or you can make a product look terrible, and then that destroys your whole brand. So it's a whole, like a whole recipe to make like the best thing, basically, for your whole brand. Boom. Everyone's on their journey, figuring shit out. But it's hype, it's the first like, meetup I wanna do later this year, like a, like a real meetup with a bunch of people who've joined over the last two years. But yeah, it's just crazy. I think of all people too, you're like one of those who really went in their own lane and just did different shit and doing unique shit gets you unique results. Now living push is emergency. Kicking the door is a burglary. Light is as a burn a third degree. 25 rest for a surgery. I know you just take a tough when I really pull up, you gon' call the authority. I'm mean, in it, I gotta see who I'm in. Mean, it's only two goes. Five minutes. Yeah. And it's okay. gone. Destroyed. Let's go to pick up two guys from my team. Last, last meeting. Dude, this is literally the medium about happens to be the test the last meeting to Europe. Then off to Europe, I've decided I'm going no phone in Europe. I'm just gonna bring my computer and I'm gonna keep my phone just turned off. What's up, meeting up with Josh. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just goes to show another example of someone joining in and really the only example you guys have seen, fully went his own path and he's fucking shit up. Can't wait till you tell me you become a millionaire from it. And yeah, boys, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe another meetup with someone in the mentorship program soon. Yep. I don't know. Think about it. This is great. Yeah. See you in the next one. Good job, guys.